In this topic, we will create a very simple ladder program to control the drive and uh, we will add a very simple symbol from the semantic HMI symbol library uh, to uh, add some visual aid for the operating team. We can control the drive from the HMI, we can set, reset the drive, and if, in case of any error, we can acknowledge the error. Uh, the, the first step will be developing the ladder program. Ladder program is intended to provide the controlling algorithm for the derive itself and providing extra information regarding the status of the drive uh, to the HMI. Uh, in the latter program, uh, the first part of the program is the fault management. Uh, for the fault management, we have a fault signal. The fault signal is uh, normally in industry, it's considered to be normally closed, but here we uh, consider that as a normal open for simplicity. So we, if we have this uh, fault signal true, the output will be true. The output will be true. And uh, fault is prior if we have fault and acknowledgement at the same time fault signal the output uh, will be true but if the um, the fault is gone in this point the fault is gone and here we apply an acknowledgement the output will be false and it means that the fault is gone so uh, we use this fault uh, signal to control the drive. Uh, we use uh, M0.0 to as a short pass. We create this uh, memory. Uh, we man manipulate this memory from HMI. We use this set signal to set the drive, to start the drive. We use this uh, reset signal to reset the drive R prior. It means that if we have if we have a fault signal on the drive, it's not possible to run that. If because fault signal is a is the latch signal from network number one. It's a latch signal from network number one. If you have this fault signal active for a long time, it's not possible to start the drive uh, until you solve the trouble and uh, press acknowledge from the HMI. Uh, the we will move to the next networks. Uh, this, uh, these networks are uh, reporting the status of the drive to the HMI. When the drive is on, one will be in the status when the drive is off and no fault signal it means that it's normally a stop two will be transferred to mba 300 and eventually if the drive is off and we have a fault signal it means that the drive is faulty and three will be transferred to the status we use this uh, status in the HMI for visual ad, visual aid. Uh, we will provide some visual effects to inform the operating team what's wrong uh, to the to the drive to solve that and acknowledge and start again. This is the basic concept of this this uh, topic. The next step, mm, so we need to add the program. We need to add the program, the ladder program. 
this the first is, the first part of the program is fault fault monitoring monitoring for fault monitoring we need uh, a flip flop we need a set prior flip flop the set prior flip flop uh, the first uh, signal will be the fault signal fault signal then we have acknowledgement so when fault active fault marker will be active so if we have a sh even sh a short pulse in fault, fault uh, marker will be active and uh, so we need to acknowledge to remove this uh, fault marker the next part is run run the drive run the drive to run the drive we need the r prior flip-flop uh, the output will be the drive itself we need to set and reset we need a set here, we need to set the drive and we need to reset the drive from the HMI and also the, the most important part of the program is the fault reaction. If we have the fault marker, the drive will be off. If we have the fault marker, the drive will be off. Then the next step is reporting, reporting, run status. We report the run status for the run status uh, we need to have the drive to be on the drive is on a move signal a move instruction we move uh, one to the status memory the status memory is mb300 and uh, report off the copy and paste the same network report off so it's report on for report off we need to have the drive uh, in office status and the fault in office status if drive is off and fault is off uh, we need to do two copy copy two to the status motor is off and drive is off it's a normal stuff but in case of a fault, reporting fault, fault. For fault, the drive is off, but the marker, fault marker is on. We need to copy three to the status. So uh, the ladder program is developed, and uh, we will move to the next step. The next uh, step will be adding some buttons to the HMI and controlling the drive, controlling the signals to control the drive from the HMI. We will add uh, save the project first and we will add uh, the HMI from devices. I select HMI, I select one of the comfort panels and i insert this comfort panel to the project first i select select the available plc in the network uh, in the project and the network will be ethernet i will select some default uh, properties of the hmi uh, it, it can be done by selecting some, some uh, basic uh, configuration by this wizard and I press finish let me delete this a welcome note here for button from element I can select the button from element I put it here and the command will be a start a start the drive properties I need to change the the font size to 22 22 the font size is increased and i make, make it a bit bigger yeah and uh, the next step will be uh, 
creating commands right click on the uh, button go to the event and I need to select set bit set something and set the set signal then we uh, press I let you yeah, did it Then we press the button, we need to set the, the set signal and then we release the button, we need to reset, reset, reset bit and the bit is the same bit, so we press, reset and we release, uh, we reset reset set and reset uh, we save the project and we need to make several copies the first copy press cop press control and hold the button and the next uh, button will be stop change the name of the button and we will go to the press and release here we need to change the the tag the tag will be the reset signal uh, we need a uh, short pulse in reset signal so this is uh, the reset signal and eventually we need to acknowledge a button to acknowledge um, a button to acknowledge a c a c Right click and properties, press select a tag from the PLC tags, uh, acknowledge and release acknowledge. Save the project and uh, this uh, this part of pro project is finished and we will move to the next step. Uh, after adding uh, buttons and uh, creating short pulses from HMI, we need to add a picture from the library. For that, you need to uh, go the uh, go to elements. And select this element insert it into the screen uh, this is the symbol symbol library um, you can change the symbol you want based on your program you can go to properties and you have a huge amount of categories i'm working on drives you can select valves everything uh, safety power pipe uh, if you want to create a very complex uh, uh, process uh, the uh, symbol library will be a great help so we inserted uh, a drive here we need to uh, do more on this drive uh, to receive the status report the status from the PLC Uh, the first part will be going to appearance and changing some uh, the style and background of the of the uh, drive itself so we go to the the screen right click in properties and in appearance in appearance we need to uh, background is transparent and the uh, fill the style should be shaded the foreground color 1.150 150 150 150 and 150 and uh, to save the output will be like this and also we need to uh, for flashing 
right click because we need to uh, we, in some cases we need to blink uh, for that we should uh, consider 192 the flashing color should be 192 192 192 192 192 192 and 192 192 we save the project here and everything is ready to go to the next step uh, the next step and our final step is defining the status of the drive based on the reported value. You go to the animation, select the appearance, and we add the tag from the PLC tag. Our tag will be a status. Status. When the status is one, we need to have the green color. It means that the drive is green. It's running when we have the off signal. When the ride is off, we will report that with the red color. And when it's uh, when it's uh, faulty, we, we will uh, blink. The drive will be blink, and you can change the blinking colors here. So our uh, each HMI development is finished here and we need to function test our uh, the final step will be function testing the whole program uh, to do the function test to perform the function test i downloaded the user program into the into the plc so the program is downloaded to the plc and i need to uh, start simulating the HMI page. Uh, we are red, the drive is red, so it means that the drive is off. I can start the drive. The drive is changing uh, the color to green. I can stop it again, start again in here and now I I can change the I can create a fault here by changing this signal modify to one the fault is created so let's see what's happening we have a faulty signal the faulty drive it's uh, blinking I remove the fault Modify the fault to false, so fault is gone. So still we have a trouble here. So somebody should check the fault and press acknowledge. When we press acknowledge, the the drive will be ready again to be started, and we start again the drive. It's a very simple program, and it's. It's, uh, it's frequently used in industry. Our uh, next project will be create a function block to control a complex drive, provide more uh, status signals, and uh, the function block will be reusable. Uh, we will focus mostly on how to create a faceplate for, uh, you know, frequently use devices in your process. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel.